Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we have discussed uh, another important uh, topic uh, in our Telegram doubt session number three. Okay. Now in this in this session we are discussing about uh, 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 one of the problem regarding to the aromatic compounds. Okay. So in this case we will discuss the, all the hetero type of aromatic compounds. Okay. The, according to the question, according to the Huckel rule, which one of the following is not an aromatic? Uh, which is not an aromatic? Okay. So the, generally we know that. Uh, the terms are related to the aromaticity. Aroma means sweet compounds. Aroma, that is sweet compounds. In uh, like a, in our 1960s, 1970s time, so the sweet smell compounds are called aromatic compounds. So later on, which is uh, uh, which is later on, will become C6H6. Startingly, it was uh, seems to be like a sweet smell, but some of the compounds it having the sweet smell, but uh, they are not shown the aromatic character. That's why uh, later on the cases uh, Huckel is proposed the theory based on the aromaticity. That is uh, Huckel 4n plus 2 pi electron system Huckel 4n plus 2 pi electronic system so according to the Huckel they were classified several types of uh, aromatic compounds now we will discuss the classification of aromatic compounds before going to the topic so generally it is aroma compounds so aromatic compounds non aromatic compounds homo aromatic compounds anti aromatic compounds anti aromatic compounds so these are the like uh, several uh, normal type of uh, aromatic compounds okay in general we will discuss the, uh, according to our topic uh, whether it is aromatic or not aromatic so general rules of aromatic is first of all hukul 4n plus 2 hukul 4n plus 2 so the first thing the minimum requirement to follow the aromatic the aromatic compound is it is a cyclic compound that is minimum that's why i did not mention over here so all the carbon all the atoms which are involved in the sp2 sometimes it may be possible for the sp hybridization okay now the third one is or or delocalized that is a planar compound whenever it is all the electrons of the 4n plus 2 according to the huckel so all the electrons are delocalized that means it is a planar moiety it is a planar moiety. So whenever these three rules are satisfied, then it's said to be aromatic compound. So any one of them, again, not the any one of them. So we will discuss anti-aromatic. So here instead of 4n, we will discuss the 4n pi electrons. Again, the same remaining same remaining things are the same. Delocalized. That means uh, it is a planar compound. So here these three rules are satisfied. Then it's said to be anti-aromatic compound. So among these six, any one of them is not satisfied. Okay, so even odd number of electrons are not the 4n plus 2, not the 4n electrons, or not the sp2, at least it present only one sp3 atom, remaining all are sp2 atom. Such type of compounds are called as non aromatic compounds. Non aromatic compounds. So, according to the question, they were, they were asking about non aromatic compounds. Any, among the following compounds, any one of them which not obeys either these three rules any one of the these three or any one of these three rules so but uh, particularly they are asking about uh, not uh, non aromatic that means any one of them any one of the four following compounds uh, which is not obeyed with these three rules then it is said to be not an aromatic okay now let us go through the first example first to second example first so now here it is the compound Okay, so this is a, a, a aromatic heterocyclic compound. Whether it is aromatic or not, we don't know. Okay, now in case of uh, calculation of uh, Huckel 4n plus 2, Huckel pi electrons, that is, uh, so general thing is benzene, that is the uh, double bonds are calculated as a, uh, each pi bond, we will use the two electrons. Now here three pi bonds are there, six electrons. Okay, so now here, so 4n plus 2 means uh, here n is equal to integer. So if n is equal to 0, then 2 electrons, n is equal to 1, then 6 electrons, n is equal to 2, then 10 electrons, n is equal to 3, then 14 electrons, n is equal to 4, then 18 electrons, such type. Okay, now here, if 4 into 0, that is 0, 0 plus 2, 2 electrons, 4 into 1, 4, 4 plus 2, 6 electrons, 4 into 2, 8, 8 plus 2, 10 electrons, so like that. Okay, so here, hence transfer, 
like integer here n not stands for number of pi electrons many of the students they are confused with that so here n is not equal to the number of pi bonded electrons or number of any type of heteroatom so it is just an integer okay now have six electrons which belongs to the 4 n plus 2 hukul pyrrole so again all are sp2 hybridization this is a planar molecule that's why it is aromatic compound so this is the simplest description about uh, aromatic compounds of benzene okay now in this case we are discussed here it is the two pi bonds that means four electrons but here heteroatom having the lone pair of electrons lone pairs can also participate at the delocalization that's why these two electrons are also calculated so totally six electrons it obeys the all or sp2 atoms it obeys the delocalizer that's why it is aromatic compound this is aromatic compound however in these type of like a heteroatom attached compound heteroatom lone pairs whenever it is sometimes it is considered sometimes it is ignored what will happen when which case we will not consider those lone pair of electrons so now let us discuss the, the, that thing so generally here it is the pyridine let us assume here it is the pyridine in this case here three pi bonds are there that means six electrons pi six electrons now here again, again here nitrogen having the two electrons so now let us consider these two electrons total overall eight electrons it is not aromatic okay according to the our hukul calculation but still it is an aromatic compound still it is aromatic compound why because here in this case we will not consider those lone pair of electrons so the main reason why we, we, we will not consider these pi bonded two electrons in our hukul aromatic rule that is the now nitrogen having the like a this type of sp2 bond so here uh, one of the sp3 bond that is a lone pairs okay now here it is already participated in the double bond that means here it having the this type of bond here carbon atom here nitrogen atom okay now again here it having the another type of bonding okay so these two are participated in the pi overlapping already it having the sigma bond now here these two are undergoing the pi overlapping it forms the pi bond it forms the pi bond again these carbon atoms all are in delocalization form all are in delocalized form so these these all the orbitals will participate at the delocalization now these nitrogen atom lone pair containing orbitals lone pair containing orbitals are perpendicular to the delocalized orbital are perpendicular to the delocalized so now here the due to the perpendicular nature of these lone pair uh, these lone pairs orientation here it is not participated here it is not participated simply what we need to remember this type of compounds here whenever the heteroatom having the double bond then the lone pair of electrons are not cal calculated not that not that point so heteroatom containing lone pair of electrons then then sorry heteroatom containing uh, heteroatom is a part of double bond is a part of double bond then do not calculate do not calculate lone pair electrons in hukul rule in hukul pi electrons so this is the simplest description okay so that's why here these lone pair electrons do not calculate at our hukul for n plus 2 now let us go into the like a second example so here this is a nitrogen atom nitrogen atom so this is the double bonds here two pi bonded electrons it is a nitrogen having the lone pairs but it can it is a part of the double bond that's why we will not calculated these lone pair of electrons so now here two electrons here two electrons totally four electrons so here nitrogen having the four bonds so generally the nitrogen uh, valency is three again it having the one lone pair of electrons so the donation of these lone pair electrons uh, it forms the like a coordinate covalent bond that means here it forms the quaternary salt so quaternary salt does not having the any type of lone pair electrons so that's why here there is no electron so we will go through the only four electrons so here it is non not an aromatic they are asking about a not an aromatic either it is anti aromatic or non aromatic it doesn't ask it. okay he is asking about which is a not an aromatic so that's why it is not an aromatic not an aromatic now let us check the remaining two options okay the third third one is nitrogen 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 okay so here it is the compound uh, each nitrogen having the lone pair of electrons but each nitrogen atom 
is participated in the double bond is a part of a double bond that's why no no among these three nitrogen atom no nitrogen lone pairs so do not calculate in our like a uh, cook with four and plus two rule so that's why here only three pi bonds six electrons it is aromatic six electrons it is aromatic so final option is like a uh, n methyl pyridine compound n methyl like a pyridine type compound here we are minus nitrogen plus br minus nitrogen plus so in generally here it having the three by three pi bonded electrons that means six electrons now here in in previous case like that here nitrogen having the four parts that means it is in the form of quaternary so in the in this case of quaternary there is no lone pair electrons that's why we will calculate only pi bonded electrons here it is six electrons six electrons are aromatic six electrons are aromatic six electrons are aromatic so here it is only having the four electrons that is not an aromatic compound so according to the our description again according to the our assumption so b is not an aromatic so b is our option okay so this is the uh, telegram doubt, doubt session lecture number 3 if you have any doubts uh, please mention uh, uh, you would doubts in um, our telegram group rpb resonance 043 or oh, my whatsapp number okay i'll explain your problems in our youtube channel okay thank you for watching